Holy fucking shit, you guys. You heard about this story called Little Red Riding Hood? It's basically child abuse. It's okay to tell your kids about because it happened a long time ago. Anyway, it starts out with this little girl who's got to bring a basket of muffins and nonsense to a grandmother who lives like 200 miles away through these deep, dark, scary woods. Little girl's not scared because what's the worst could happen in the woods in fairy tale times except, I don't know, maybe getting eaten by a witch who lives in a candy house and swallowed by a big bad wolf who, surprise, just shows up. The big bad wolf's like, yo, little girl, where you headed? And she's like, dude, I don't talk to strangers, so kindly fuck off. And the big bad wolf's like, all right, cool, well, at least tell me where you're going. She's like, oh, I'm going to my grandmother's house who lives 200 miles away. And the wolf's like, cool, thanks for all the information that you shouldn't have told me. And he goes running off into the goddamn woods, goes to the grandmother's house, hops into a bed, swallows a hole. Then he puts on a clothes and starts hanging out like the goddamn grandmother, like he's some kind of Silence of the Lambs monster or something. Anyway, Little Red Riding Hood shows up, and the big bad wolf's like, hey, what's going on? It's good to see you. And she's like, Grandma, what's wrong with your ears? You look like Ted Cruz. She's like, oh, it's all the better to hear you with, my dear. And she's like, yeah, but your eyes kind of look a little methed out. And she's like, no, 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 I, uh, it's all the better to see you with, my dear. Plus, I've been on ecstasy or something. So then she's like, what's wrong with your teeth? You look like you stole Gary Busey's mouth. And she's like, all the better to eat you with, my dear. So then she jumps out of bed and swallows Little Red Riding Hood, too. So Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother are hanging out in this fucking two-bedroom apartment inside this wolf's stomach. And then a woodsman shows up and chops the wolf in half, and then everybody lives happily ever after. Only, I don't really think that's the case. I feel like they probably had to get some therapy. I feel like I'd be pretty fucked up if I got swallowed by a wolf and I had to hang out with my naked grandmother inside its belly. Anyway, it's a pretty fucked up story, you guys.